Hey, it's more and more, and these are the five songs that changed my life. Roads by Portishead takes me back to um, a time where I was taking road trips to see my family. And uh, my eldest cousin always had the greatest taste in music, and he introduced me to the dummy record for the first time. So the stripped downness and the bareness of the record really um, stood out to me, and I really fell in love with that sound. And then Beth Gibbons' lyrics and both her voice are really haunting, so that's an um, impactful song for me. NYC by Burial is um, one of my favorite dance songs. I often put it on when I arrive at, in New York City, which is one of my favorite cities in the world. I've been a long time fan of Burial, and I feel like with uh, NYC, I've fallen in love with that city. So usually when I touch down, especially if it's an evening flight, that's one of the first songs that I put on. I think it's one of the songs by him that are a little bit more up-tempo, and you can, you can dance to. Um, he's usually kind of doing a minimal, kind of, I guess, like, lower BPM. It was kind of a, a new thing for him. With him in particular, there's a lot of, like, melancholic and introspective feeling in his music. Um, so that's somewhat something that I take away, because um, it kind of matches my mood often. <laughs> it's love, it's mine, it's yours, it's life, it's free. I'm the Sky by Norma Tenga is truly a special song. It's something that I put on um, often, and when I do, it's something that I have to have on repeat because that chorus is truly infectious. It's love, it's mine, it's yours, it's life. I think out of the selection that I chose, that song is a little bit more upbeat and, and delightful, and I feel like I'm a like melody junkie, and any time I listen to that song, I have to listen to it more than once. I think the lyrics are impeccable. I love the message. It's something that I think really resonates with today. And the idea of just like, it's love, it's life, it's yours, it's mine, it's free. Like that's such a good chorus to me. And it's, yeah, it's just bright. Everything Must Change by Nina Simone is truly one of my favorite songs. Whenever I'm in the house alone, I feel like it's one of the first songs that I gravitate towards um, in the evenings, and it's just, yeah, something special. It's very stripped down. I prefer her version to the Quincy Jones version, um, which is the original. I feel like anytime she's covering something, she just claims it as her own. It becomes her song. I also do think she's the GOAT. I find that her voice and instrumentation, like though people know her, I feel like she'll forever honestly be like underrated. It's just vocals and piano um, and strings and it's just so moving and haunting. Army of Me by Bjork is the first track on her album Post. It's truly such an infectious song. It's an energetic song. It's something whenever I feel down, I put on and it gets me going. And if you complain, once more. Uh, Bjork in particular, I just find that she's such an inspiration because she really has done it her, on her terms for so long. It's infectious, it's, it's energetic without feeling violent, if that makes sense. I, I think you can break all barriers and bring change to your situation.